last chapter and tests from this chapter. And that statement over there, is, it will depict for you the link between the two. Would you like me to show them? Yes. Key values encompasses the Three, yes, sorry, not them. Are we writing the Are we writing the blue part yet? Encompass. No. Okay. Okay. Bree, don't write the also, blue part yet. Morgan, for your sake, you asked for a statement about power. Okay, wait. Maybe so write, write the blue part here. So another okay, loose end will clean up. If p equals, and let's say an alternative value. What's an alternate like with us? Daniel, yeah, move your big head. Like I put in parentheses, <laughs> Morgan. Uh -huh. Like with the potatoes, say the alternative value is 0.11. Maddie, can you? So that's going to change for every problem. Yes. All right. So if p equals 0.11, which is the alternative value. That's the alternative value. The probability of correctly rejecting h sub o equals, in this case, the original Wait, do we write this down or do we already have this? State the oh, yeah. hypothesis is the power. So I'll put point seven five okay. for that one. Do we Everybody watch out for one second so Bree can screenshot and then Fine. I'm going to move Do we the have this? All right. Do we already have this down or should we Take your screenshot really now. Okay. But, uh, we're right. going to ask for a recap of how to say oh, the yeah. power. So that is sort of a skeleton. You can always fill in the values. So that's nothing new. That's old news? Yeah, I'm going to write it down. Right. What, why, is, why are those two P's different? If P equals 411, what's the alternative value? So we say, I mean, I'm really confused now. Because the way I explained power before makes sense. Now I should have told you. Um, the probability. And then that is actually. Where do, where do we put alpha in that? Where does alpha go in here? You don't really have to add that. You can say at, at no one else like throws things at you. At alpha equals 0.05, you can. I love you know, it. I think I've done that before. <laughs> so right. we can. I'm, I'm confused about this. So the problem, the probability of like. No. Says, I felt the best I have in a while when I put that water bottle in front of me. And what is the P? Yeah. It's yeah. the alternative value. She said, stop putting that bottle on. I said, I do your thesis. And she was like, my bottle's not you know, a better thesis. You know, like the potatoes? <laughs> so I'll have to sit down and show you. I need to go on. All right? This is just so a review I, for more. Ailey, if the other definition works I better, use it. I explained this, and you said it was right, but now it looks like it doesn't align. The logic doesn't align with that. Okay, well, you can show me right after class. All right, let's look at how you do all this. We're going to do it in five minutes. And actually, you can come up and teach this. We're going to can do I? a one sample. Ryan, I need you to not shake the desk. It was perfect, right. and you ruined it. I'm sorry for living. T test. Or what am I going to say right here? One sample, and now we're on day five, or the next day. Oh, really? There wasn't much on that one day. Okay, now I have a problem yeah. because my day five is in this binder, right. and if I open the binder, it's so probably going to shake the thing. Test, what am I going to put in here? <laughs> four, four, me. 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 Remember, we just yeah. finished right, me yesterday. Giving more of that. Okay. Now, like it. we are going to assume that standard deviation for the whole thing is on the if it is known, we do it differently. Face. Yeah. But Kevin never hits him in the face. Sure. All right. yeah. So here, you can probably teach it before I do. So let's go ahead and see if you can. One sample T test from you. I stop throwing. First, you're going to find the Z statistic. Any ideas how you're going to do the Z statistic? <clears throat> Look how you did the P. We have to do for RIN P. first. Yeah. yeah. We do, of course. Good RIN, call. RIN, RIN, RIN. Blah, blah, blah. All right. I don't have time to go over RIN. Blah, blah, blah. RIN I lost so many right points now. on the test. I'll like go over it tomorrow. You will have been taught how to do RIN for me. So apply the. Is there ever going to be a time where we do RIN and then we're going to have to stop? Uh, very rarely. <laughs> very rare. Once in a while in a homework. Okay. Random All right. Stop. So we're like, going to do it doesn't pass X bar you know, minus. Here we have a hypothesis situated. We have 
the null hypothesis is the mean equals some value, say 0.4, and the alternate hypothesis, the mean does not equal 0.4, something like that. So this is our mu naught. So we're going to have a mu naught like we had a p naught. So do you see the, the simulate the, the similarities from yes. yesterday? Yes, ma'am. What do you think I'm going to put in the denominator? N. Oh, no. Is it like root of n? No, S, no. S, S, S of x. S of x, yeah. Over the square root of n. I think that's All right. So you're going to come up with the z value that way. Because uh, this is not a z value, because we don't know S of x, it's a t value. So I just wanted you to think of it as a Z for a minute. So you can see what we're doing the same thing, but with a different chart. Okay. So okay. this is a T value, assuming their deviation is unknown. If it was known, which is very, very rare, this would be a Z. But it's not. So we're looking for the T statistic by this equation. So then from there we would go to chart B. So when it's known U Z. Yeah. But it's so Wait, what is known U Z? When standard deviation is known. Yeah, it was. But I taught it last time. I know I you did, but, it it over. but you I said like it's so, so rare we're, we're never gonna I use know, it. But I had you write it on the board and everything. So you go over to chart B and you're gonna get the the area you're gonna get actually the T score. Oh, yeah, this will give you the t-score. Then you go to chart B, and that will give you the area that you need, which is the probability. This will be your p-value. So let's do one. And if I get stuck, I'll have you finish it. It's this example of batteries. I think you can do it without me. Wait, how do we um, translate it? The p-value, just compare it to alpha. It's all, everything's the same. Like we compare to alpha, and if alpha is the cutoff point, if your peak value is less than alpha, we reject. No, you so also change you your, and you also the equation no, for. No, I will see. The equation. Let me see how okay, what the variable is built on, which is imminent. All right, on the year we have some batteries. We're saying yeah. on the batteries on the that H sub O is thirty. The mean is thirty on H sub A. We're hoping. Since we changed all our equipment and now we're hoping that the new batteries last longer. So, N is 15. So that's the number in the sample. I'm taking a sample of 15 and I want to take a sample and develop the T statistic from it and see if I should reject this or fail to reject. So, let's do it. T equals X bar. X bar is given in the problem. 33.9. Right. Minus mu naught. Remember, 30. that comes from the null hypothesis. So that is your mu your naught, so like your P naught. Now your mu naught, sounds like we all went to England, over. Now we have S of X, and hopefully they gave us that. They yeah. did. 9.8 over square root of 15. All right, we'll see if you can, with your intuition, finish this Better Batteries for mm -hmm. homework and see what you come up with. I got one Then, on the back, I want you to also do healthy streams. So you may get stuck. But notice to get X bar, you're going to have to put it in your calculator. So you have to remember how to put those Wait, so what is 15 data points in your calculator. Do I find 1.54 on here? No, like like we're just going to do on our, this is not going to work out. So we're just going to do this handout, finish batteries. And I gave you the, the, the test, uh, I mean the P, uh, what do you call it, chart B. I gave that to you in your handouts today. So you don't even have Wait, to Wait, I'm confused how to find it on table B again. Okay, have you got, all right. Yeah. What was your Just, I got 1.54. Okay, let's do one together you if you can stay. 1.54. 1.54 is going to be, it's very different. So you're using your intuition. First of all, what's the degrees of freedom, at, uh, Andrew? Oh, is it? Okay, you Oh, 15. 
14. Wait, no, 14, 14, that's right. right. Okay. So you see, I went to the, count, the row on your paper, degrees of freedom. Oh, between degrees of freedom and n minus 1. Right here, it's degrees of freedom. How did you so know that that was the degree? It's degrees one of freedom. Because it's 1 minus n. It's just like the oh, last chapter, one. it was 1 minus the degree number in the sample. So degrees of freedom is 14. Do you see I went down to degrees of freedom 14? Yeah. And I'm looking across for this p value. 1.54. Did you see I found it in between two numbers? 0.10 yeah. and 0.05. So did you say 85%? All right. All right. So then I go up to the top and I read those two numbers. What were they again, Andrew? 0.10 and 0.05. So is it 0.75? So I'm going to put the smaller one first and point what? 0.10? Yeah. 0.10. All right. So notice instead of the chart giving me one p value, it gives me a range between 0.05 and 0.10. Should I use that to reject at the 0.05 level? Um, no. Wait, yes, it's in the value, so you reject it. Yes, reject. That's they, they said to reject it, I guess, because it's, so much of this is in... It started at 0.05. I agree, 0.05 is in there, but the whole interval is above it. So they, I would attack, if you defend yourself, so I would accept your Where is 0.05 as a problem? I don't understand. This okay, is so the p-value. The p-value is between oh, is 0.05 and then we're looking for 0.154, but if okay. you are on 14, there's no 1.54. It's between these two numbers. So we have to reject. Okay, then go up here uh, they, to these But then I don't understand they, why we're uh, how, how do we reject. know how to reject it? Yeah, it's because the point of five is in there. You're if, right. Yeah, but they, they actually say, well, it's so much of this in a, The p-value is Wait. in between here and here. Well, we want the p-value to be 0.05 or higher, right? We want the likeliness of, oh, okay. <laughs> See where this is yeah. going to get stupid. Wait, so, 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 they're, so um, they're saying that because um, it's the very lowest. least amount that it's yeah. most likely going to reject. So I would say so compare you know, this yeah, to 0.05. So remember, did we say alpha is is less than? We say alpha is 0.05. Yeah. So well, I feel like that, we could say it like so we know that the p value is not 0.05, and we know it's not 0.1 it's because it. No, I don't know. I think it does include the endpoints. So wait, can we decide? So are we rejecting we are or? We're looking for 1.54, and for that's it. right in between 1.34 and 1.76. Joel, what did you write? You know reject or yeah. I said reject. Yeah. Why did you say reject? Why? They, they said that. Let's. Can we say why? This is Look, higher than if it's this. in there, it's higher. So right? therefore, we fail to reject. Wait, why? That's what I said. Okay. All right. It's either higher reject. than or equal to. Wait, fine. no, I get it. So because just do the stream problem. Yeah. Right, because this is higher than 0.05. Mrs. Powell, can I have a day? Yeah, that's what you said. But if you said, what's it? 0.05. Bye. Bye.